A lot of the times it's how they can benefit from participating in the Canadian economy, which is federally regulated and that avoids a lot of complications that they're used to dealing with in the United States. A one way they, could, they can do that that we're seeing a lot is commercialization of branding and technology in Canada that they've developed in their various state markets. Canada has very restrictive regulations on product categories and on marketing and advertising. Colorado, Nevada, and California do not. They all have a large variety of products. They have a lot of freedom in how they can package and promote them. So the brands they're building can be commercialized up here. They just have to be very careful about how they do that to avoid going offside Canada's severe and about to become much more severe packaging restrictions. Another one is how they can use our capital markets to get funded and, and go public. There are some Canadian exchanges will trade securities of American companies that hold uh, assets in the US that are operating. And finally, it, the regulations. Regulations are inverted in Canada compared to the US. We don't have storefronts, not yet anyway, and when we do, they will only be for adult use products. They will not be medical. We also have very few product categories, as I mentioned before, and, and this results in a lot of confusion from American entities because the system here is so different. And this is further exacerbated by a lot of failure to enforce happening in Vancouver, where uh, we see unlicensed dispensaries operating regularly and a lot of American companies assuming that British Columbia has different law than the rest of Canada on that point, which would be possible in the US but is not possible with the Canadian Constitution. A lot of people compare this to the tech industry and they compare it to the end of prohibition. This is unique though, and it's unique in a number of ways. The first thing is the product itself. Cannabis is not one product. We're gonna see, I think in this order, drinking, vaping, eating, transmucosal absorption, and then possibly smoking last. I think that's what things look like five to 10 years from now. And all of that means that this isn't smoking. It's also not beverage alcohol because it's medical. This is a product that you can take in all those different dosage forms and classes of cannabis to use it different ways. It's also a product that because of different amounts of phytocannabinoids can be psychoactive or not psychoactive. And finally, it's a product that could be medical or not medical, even though it's an identical container that's labeled the same and ready for sale in the same province. Over here medical, over here not medical. Two entirely different distribution systems with different regulations. Two words, focus and teamwork. About two years ago, we started a formal focus group to look at this industry and understand how it works, what its needs are. The cannabis industry is uniquely regulated and the regulations are constantly changing. To understand how this works requires a team of dedicated professionals who are putting a lot of their energy into understanding this industry and how their practice and the firm more broadly can service it. Exam good examples are how hemp figures in and where product diversification is gonna take us and what the future of on-site consumption businesses could look like. All these are things that are coming in the future likely and our focus lets us help position clients now so that they can best capitalize on these new opportunities as they come up. And that interfaces nicely with our second advantage, teamwork. We're a national firm, we're Canada's largest firm. We have offices across the country and we know how to work together as one firm. Across both practice groups and offices, we put together teams that have the skill sets, legally speaking, that the client needs. All of this comes through teamwork from people who know how to work together, where a good number of the team members are entirely focused on this industry.